Yes, we're good. Good to go. It's all you now, Eric. Sing it. Awesome. You guys, thank you so much for coming today. Welcome to the Colane Organization exclusive training. This training is designed for you guys. It's organic. We build it as we go. It's not canned. It's live. It's interactive. It's what you guys want. We're all here to make you guys top producers. And the brokers here that are already top producers, we're going to take you to the next level as well. Uh, we focus a lot on basics. You know, just getting back to basics. It's really important for everybody to get back to basics. And that, that's kind of what we do. Um, thank you. I want to thank you guys for being here. It's a really nice crowd. I mean, we got a lot of people in here for me changing the time. Uh, I want to apologize. I know I did on the thread in the uh, workplace, but I got to tell you, from now on, this is a scheduled meeting to me. This is important for me. It's important for you guys to be here from 11 to 12 o'clock every Tuesday and Friday, Central Standard Time. We're going to make, we're going to stick with those times. If for any reason I can't be here, we'll have somebody take over. We'll have a, a, um, a guest speaker, if you will, but you guys can bank on these times going forward. I just want to tell you, I respect the crap out of your time. I respect you guys. I don't want to move the schedule. Today was uh, a day where I actually had, uh, it's kind of a win. I had uh, f I have five inspections today, four inspections today. Um, they all came on the same day. Times were moved the last minute, so I kind of had to be there, and uh, that's what happened. So I wanted to uh, thank you guys once again for being here. And does anybody in the room, anybody in the room have a win to share, a win, whether it be in business, whether it be in personal life, whether it be the NFL draft yesterday, talk to me. Who's got some good news? Who's got some wins? My social well, we got media a new quarterback. <laughs> what was that? We got a new quarterback? Yeah, I was just commenting on the uh, the draft. We so we have a new quarterback. I, I mean, that's you guys. I happen to be a Cowboy fan. But, uh, yes, I think that the Bears drafting a very athletic quarterback, awesome, awesome news. Um, what what else? Anybody? 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 Give me, give me some good business news. Anybody got any? I have marketing. Social media is doing really, really well. And, um, nice. Tell yeah. us about it. Well, um, I started back using my Instagram after like a long time, not really doing anything. So once I got into real estate, I decided, okay, well, let me use my marketing skills that I know for online marketing for my real estate business. So I'm getting all of that in line, setting up all of my lead capture pages and um, all of those great things to capture some leads and do some online marketing. And it's going really good. Awesome. This is doing anything. It's good. Awesome. Awesome. Folks, you guys, the, the way you set up your social networking platforms, if you did it before and now you're in real estate, it should be a hand in glove fit. It's all natural. Just keep pushing forward. Be yourself in your social networking platforms and your Instagram stories. Be you. That's who people are going to do business with. That's the beauty of this industry. You don't have to be anybody you're not. It's an intimate business. We've talked about it before. They want to work with people that are affable, they trust, they like, and that are human. And that show emotions. I'm telling you right now, Bonnie and Judd have fantastic social networking pro uh, profiles and platforms. They are very active on social networking. They figured out all the bells and whistles to include. They got the music in the background. They're tugging at the heartstrings. It makes you want to watch. It pulls you in. They are brilliant, brilliant at providing value. That is one of the biggest keys to know when you're doing social network marketing, when you're, when you're marketing your sphere of influence, when you're talking on the phone, you really want to provide people value. Uh, I know I've harped on it before, but you know, just doing the just listed, just sold, I closed $20 million, blah, blah, blah. That's all fine. That's all good. But in between the lines, you need to provide value. Bonnie and Judd always do it. They talk about workouts they're doing. They spread love to the rest of their teammates. Uh, they got good music. They share love about their dog, their family. They show the human side of them. Bonnie, Judd, your social networking, your Instagram, your Facebook is only going to help you in this business. And I'm so pumped to hear that you're having success with it already. It's awesome. Thank you, Eric. Awesome. My pleasure. Uh, anybody else? Uh, I uh, just, well, closed on Lake Zurich yesterday, uh, the 807, 8075. 
And then today I just got another two more op city leads, one for 800,000 and another one for like four. Uh, looking for one, looking for a condo, and one looking for a new construction. So that's awesome. I'm going to take them on some tours this weekend. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So Nikki, tell me like if you're, what type of pace are you? How much op city business have you closed and do you have right now this year? Um, so I just closed on one half of an op city lead on the buy side. Um, we're okay. still up their house, uh, closing May 18th on the sell side. Okay. Um, and then I'm working with about five other people, um, through op city. Um, so like six or seven total, um, some okay. are on hold. Uh, they want to build up some more, you know, down payment right. money and things like right. that. Um, and I know we've talked about how hard it is to claim these leads. Like I, I literally just keep it open. And when it pops up, if it's in an area that I want to do, I claim it as fast as I can. Sometimes you get yep. lucky. Sometimes you don't. Um, but the more you try to grab those, the more things they send you. And then the more that you close on those things, they send you better and better leads, the more you close. So it, awesome. benefits, it benefits you if you have the op city to just keep clicking on it. Even if you yep. don't get it, even if you skip it, just keep clicking on it because that all that is tracked through the system. And that's how they decide what leads to get sent to you. Absolutely. Uh, so, so Nikki, that's, that's freaking awesome. I love it. What kind of, what kind of dollar volume do you think all the, all the leads that you have closed are in the hopper this year so far? Just a, just a ballpark figure, dollar volume. Give me one second. I can tell. Um, probably close to 2 million, maybe a little bit over um for wow. depending on what people are looking maybe a little bit more closer to three actually because i've got one that's looking for an eight hundred thousand house i've got another one looking for a six hundred thousand house uh four hundred thousand condo and then the eight hundred dollar eight thousand dollar correction eight hundred k close and then the five thousand sell okay cool so okay so we're talking two million dollars of sales let's just say on a low end we were four months through the year Extrapolate that out. That's six to seven million dollars in sales from one one referral source. One referral source that all you have to do is go to your managing broker in your state, sign up for Op City, follow up with these leads, accept, accept, accept. Speak to these people that are ready to go. A lot of buy sell. Literally, that one referral site alone. That one referral partner alone can make you a top producer. Seven, eight million dollars. So, folks, I encourage you to sign up. If you haven't signed up for Op City, get it done. Make it happen. Uh, any other wins in the room? All right. So, folks, thank you for sharing. Um, basically, today, I just want to touch upon briefly, I'm going to go for about 10 minutes, just talking about the foundation for instant business. A lot of this is repetitive, and it should be repetitive, because we always need to get back to the basics, as good as you are, as good as Michael Jordan was. He always took jump shots. He always took free throws. He was always the last one at practice, working on the basics, working on his handles, working on everything. This is what we have to do, day in and day out, work on the basics. What I personally love, in addition to helping you guys realize your goals, it also helps me. It helps sharpen my sword. There's stuff that when you become so busy in your business, you forget the fundamentals that got you here. And these are the fundamentals, the foundation for instant business. So number one, you guys have heard it before, and I know most of you have it already. Create your sphere of influence. That's a given. Create your sphere of influence. Everyone that's in your market, create them, and we're going to engage in them. You are going to use your sphere of influence throughout your entire career. They are going to be your largest referral source. They are going to be your biggest fans. They are going to elevate you to the mayor of real estate in your area. Don't forget about your sphere of influence. No matter how busy you get, marketing on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and wherever else you're marketing is fantastic. It's great. But we also have to engage at least once a month. We got to do some sort of send out to our database. And you have the most amazing tools that are free of charge at your disposal with the KV Core website. So you're good. You got your CRM. 
So create the sphere of influence. Number two, and I will write these down. I will send these in uh, to the group at the end of the meeting. Number two, create a list of agents who you think generate leads. A list of agents, brokers, that you think generate leads and a separate list of brokers that you think might be retiring soon. I'm gonna go at this a little bit more in depth next meeting, but what an enormous referral source these people can be. I know on a personal level that over the last two years, I have 200 leads that I have not been able to cultivate into clients. We've had communication, but now we don't. They're still in my database. The importance of these old leads that brokers like myself or other heavy hitting brokers or other brokers that you know market and, and, and grow their business and expand and are all in on cultivating leads. We need to get in touch with them if they're in your market. It is a very viable source of leads. For example, for me, if somebody approached me and they said, hey, Eric, you know what? Starting out, I'm hungry. You know, do you have any old leads that, you know, you're just haven't had, been able to close or cultivate lately? And I'd say, you know, yeah, sure, I do. I go, what, what were you planning? And you could say, hey, you know what? Why don't you give me the leads? I'll see any ones of these. I'll see anyone that I can revive and get them to become customers. And I will pay you 25% and you don't have to do anything. I would say yes to that all day long. The reason being, you say to yourself, why would you give up 200 leads? Because I have new leads coming in. My systems are on go. My systems are, are working. They're, they're going. They're full court press. Leads are coming into me constantly. So to a guy like me that generates 60, 70, 80 leads a month, I'm okay giving a new broker as many leads as they need that are older. The advantage of this for you when you ask a broker is one, you don't have to pay for them on the front end. They're very valuable. Number two is these leads are probably on average six months to 24 months old. That is actually the wheelhouse. That's how long it typically takes some of these leads to buy or to sell. It's a really long incubation period. So the fact that you get a lead doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna close them in the next month or the next quarter or the next two quarters. So I think it is a very good source of potential leads for you guys to tap into brokers in your area. And it's very easy. You can look on your MLS, you know, preferably their EXP Realtors. If they're not from EXP, that's okay too. Engage in conversation. Hit up these brokers that are heavy hitters that are going to retire soon or that are really active brokers that you know have leads just funneling in hand over fist. Get a lion's share of these leads. Folks, you really want to establish, and it's a win 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 all the way across the board. You really want to establish good relationships with your competition. Are they your enemies? Sure. Yeah, they are. They are. They're your competition. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that every fiber of my being, while I'm smiling at the brokers that are also the heavy hitters in my area, I also kind of want to step on their throat and own them. There's no question about it. But you know what? That's okay. You really want to establish very good rapport, very good relationships with all of these top producing brokers because it only benefits you. It only benefits you. And what a great way to do it. When you're starting out or you're newer in the industry or you just want to grow, reach out to some of these brokers. I will, I will give you guys scripts. There is a very simple dialogue just asking them, hey, you know what? I know you cultivate leads. I know you get leads. I'd like to help you with some that you haven't been able to create clients with. And you pay them on the back end. That's a win-win. You're also creating a relationship with them. I could tell you that in my career, probably about a handful of times I've won in a multiple offer situation just because of my relationship with the broker. So never underestimate the importance of having friends in this industry. Conduct yourself professionally, be honest, be fair, but be friendly. Because no, at some point you're gonna need to lead on these other folks, even if they are working 
with competitive brokerages. But I really think this is some, this is a strategy that nobody's doing. And I've done it myself, it works. I've had a handful of other brokers do it, it works. It's just a question of doing it. So folks, I, I, I encourage you to do that. Reach out to brokers that you know generate leads. It's a great lead source for you. And I just want to add to that, like Eric, Eric did that for me uh, when I first came on with him at Century 21, is he handed me a spreadsheet of probably close to 200 leads that were stale leads for him and gave me the opportunity to start building my business and working with him and and reaching out to these potential leads. And it, it was awesome to have that like instantaneous list of people that I could call without spending any money on it. Uh, up front as a new agent that was huge absolutely no and it's and it, and it really becomes your pleasure to do it if any brokerage was hung, broker was hungry and they came up to me and asked me for leads i would give it to them plain and simple they're they're just sitting there for me so folks if you have all of these methods for creating leads put this on the list put this on the list it's easy it's free and you're creating relationships and it will go somewhere you will convert some of these leads so Open houses, you guys definitely want to host open houses. If you don't have your own listings, that's fine. Look up some of the top listings in the area. Again, preferably EXP brokers, but understanding that, you know, they're not all going to be from EXP. You can reach out to other brokers in the industry. It's not a problem. If you like their listings and you think their listings are going to get a lot of traffic, go on to Redfin and kind of look at the activity on Redfin. If you see a big number, a four digit number, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 people viewing, and you see 4% of those people favoriting it, I know I'm a nerd, 4%, that's a good listing. That means whenever they have an open house, it's going to be bumping. There's gonna be 20, 30, 40 people walking through. When could you ever, when could you ever get that many people in front of you? It's only at an open house. An open house, no, you can do it for you can do it for any brokers. R Romney's saying, thought we only allowed to do open houses for EXP agents. That's that's not true. You actually could host an open house for another broker. I I've done it before. Um, I don't. I've never heard that it wasn't uh, okay to do it for other brokerages. Uh, you in fact you can actually cross list. You can actually list the property with another broker from another agency. This is not. I'm not trying to go there that we that we just you know, focus on other brokerages, but understanding how crucial open houses are, if there's not enough in your area, it is okay to reach out to somebody and host an open house. But I encourage you, I encourage you to get into open houses, make it your own. Like I said last week, it's your opportunity to shine. It's your opportunity to be different, to brand yourself, get there early, engage with people, let them talk, play a little Dave Matthews, put your spin on it. Make them talk about you when you leave. Man, that broker was great to talk to. Awesome. Would love to work with them. That'd be fantastic. Generate the open house sign-up sheet. Do it electronically through KV Core. You could do it on your phone. You could do it on your iPad. But open houses are huge. So definitely pick open house that you want to host, preferably with the XP. Next thing, talk to your managing broker. Talk to your managing broker. Just a conversation. Introduce yourself. Make it a phone call, email them first, see when they're available for a 15-minute phone call. Managing brokers are huge sources for leads as well. If you call them, let them know you're hungry, looking for leads, maybe there's stuff they could do for you. Number one, you need to call them to get an op city. So if you haven't done that already, call your managing broker, get an op city. Ask your managing broker if there's any other sources of leads that you could sign up, any programs that you could sign up to, to generate more leads for yourself. They'd be happy. They'd be more than happy to help you out. And next time they think of something and something comes up and there's an opportunity, they're gonna think of you. So definitely let your managing broker know you're interested, engage with them, have a relationship with them. Next, online profiles. We've talked about them. Google yourself today. Google yourself. 
Google yourself and make sure all your data is consistent. Make sure all your profiles are updated. I'm talking Facebook, your website, LinkedIn, Instagram, real estate portals like Trulia, Zillow, Zillow, Redfin, your own website, whatever broker association you're a member of, make sure all those profiles are consistent. If they're not consistent, you are losing tens and thousands of dollars. As you get further along in this industry, you're losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Please, today, Google yourself. Make sure all your profiles are consistent. They have updated information, updated information about you, about your listings, updated photos. This is hugely important for you guys. So I really want you guys to make sure that your profiles are updated. Also, another thing we've talked about, we've talked on it, get on all those referral websites that we talked about. Upnest, Referral Exchange, Redfin for experienced brokers, OpCity. There's a lot out there, folks. So these are the steps, and I know we've covered them in depth before. Outside of the outside of the getting the leads from brokers that you think generate leads, getting leads from brokers that are retiring and open houses, all of the other stuff we've covered, but I just want to make sure that we're all doing it. When you get this stuff all done, when you get all this stuff done, your online profiles, you got your lead sources, you got your op city, you've talked to other brokers about leads. When you get that all done, now you're ready. Now you're ready to go. Now you're ready to send out your sphere of influence messages. Now you're ready to start sitting open houses, getting out there, making a mess. But all this stuff's got to be done first. An ounce of preparation is worth a pound of cure. It is all in the planning. It's all in the preparation, all of it. Execution is simple once you plan. So make sure we do some of these, all these basic things that we've discussed over the course of the last two months, let's make sure we do them. And I know a lot of you already have, so I'm preaching to the choir. But again, let's focus. Let's use this new uh, lead generating source with other brokers and brokers that are retiring. Let's try and do that. Let's have some success with this. I am going to turn it over to Nikki. Oh, hold on, Eric. You got a question in the uh, chat here. Oh. How long did it take before you started receiving home light or Redfin leads? Great question. Is that is that, that my boy? Andrew. Is that my boy Andrew? Andrew? Yes. Yeah. Sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I have my I have everything going on home light, but I haven't received anything because I'm uh, just a newbie. But I was just checking. You know, when did they start? You know, feeding you. Yeah. Great question. So, so both of those websites, you have to be experienced. Um, I do not know the production standards that you have to have. I think it's, I think, I think for Redfin, you got to have like at least 10 to 12 closes for a 12 month period. So, so I think on the low end of that, so let's say Redfin's 10 closes for a 12 month period before, got before it. you, before you become I a partner be, agent. I should be up to like, right around 10 here with just the op city deals nice. so uh I, I wanted to uh talk a little bit about uh, op city um <clears throat> there are like just make sure you read the guidelines on it because um if you try to like you know share leads with people with op city or um if you do anything like you got to make sure that you read the the blueprint i guess is what yeah. i'm saying yeah uh, just because you don't want to ruin, ruin, you don't want to ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> absolutely, no, no, absolutely, one hundred percent agree. Uh, I, I, you know, Nikki, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't ever share Op City leads. I mean, when I, I don't do Op City leads anymore. But when I did them, I absolutely never shared them. Those clients were so ready to go. There was no reason to share them. So, and also, I believe you can get in at any time with Op City. So I don't think you need that incubation period of experience and production before you get into op city nikki is that yeah is that accurate? No, that's correct and I, and and the the benefit of op city leads is like generally they come pre-qualified and if they're not pre-qualified op city has already connected them with the lender so they have an idea um they don't usually ship them through if somebody's not prepared to buy so there's really no reason to share those leads because they don't usually fall dead like that and then you have to 
you release them back to Op City. So it's not like someone you keep. I I uh, put everybody in from Op City into my KV Core database just because it's easier for me to manage them that way. Hashtag them with the Op City lead, Op City hashtag, so I know that those aren't leads that were generated from me um, on my own. So I don't share those ones. Um, also, just know that if you you know have a buy sell situation, you still pay the Op City percentage on on both of those sides. Um, that's just one of the other right. caveats yeah. there. No, that's great advice. That's great advice. That's 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 totally true. It doesn't yeah, two transactions. You're still paying that referral fee on both of them. Again, it's you know we've all done it. I I've done it up. I still do it today. Um, I, I strongly encourage. I never mind paying a referral fee. It's real business. You can refer that business. Get you going in, in uh, during the cold season. Get your business going when you're deadlifting it from the start. Hugely important. Um, in turn, yeah. So in terms of op city leads, I would never share those. Uh, as far as Redfin goes, Andrew, it's amazing that you're right on the doorstep of being able to qualify for those leads. That's incredible, man. Uh, celebrate your win tonight. That is that is really good news. Um, Redfin is actually a very underrated referral partner. They have a shit ton of leads, excuse my language, coming in. I mean a lot. And they don't have a lot of partners because people don't know that. They don't know about it. It's very, it's very low key, down low, the Redfin uh, partner agent program. So, and as far as home light goes, home light actually, I, I do think you have to be a, even more experienced than Redfin. I think they pull from the each board and they make sure you're in the top 10%. So it's all different what top 10% means in every uh, in every broker, you know, in every area geographically. But I can tell you right now, if you're anywhere near the you know five to six million dollar mark, then you would qualify. You would qualify. So just just breaking that down, that's uh, that's one home worth five hundred thousand dollars every single month, and you would qualify for Home Light. Home Light is phenomenal. Home Light, you have to be really really quick though, because I know in my area in Highland Park they have about uh, six Home Light agents, and once a referral is set out, it's just like Op City. But these leads are gold, absolute gold. I just got a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar listing lead in Highland Park. Um, so that was huge and I, and I got it. Uh, but you got to really be quick to the uh, quick to the trigger to accept them because somebody else will. But yeah, those are more those are more seasoned sites. Those are sites that are really going to are really worth incorporating in your business in the future. Uh, but that's that's great news, Andrew, man. You should be really proud of yourself. Did you just start? When did you start, Andrew? Uh, <clears throat> started with Colhane in December. OK. And so you've been, yeah. do you well, so most of the, so most of the deals that I've actually sold have been land deals that close in 20 days, which yeah. were basically no money, but I would, you have to sell three deals with op city to change your, um, like how much basically change the options of what you want to actually be doing with op city. Okay. You, you basically, yeah, you get fed, you know, like the lowest of the lows to get started. So it's, mm -hmm. it's actually a lot, a lot of work to get out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, like I'm getting, you know, like this week, this week, just alone, I've probably had like, you know, eight different leads from it. Just wow. It, so I'm just like, like I guess my next question is like, when do you, when do you know you need to uh, expand with the buyer agent? <laughs> That's a great question. That's a great question. Um, you know, it depends on what you could take. It, it depends on your tolerance. Whenever, whenever you see your service to the buyers can't be held up the way you want it to be held up and you can't follow through and provide the way you want to provide for your valued clients, then you want to think about bringing somebody aboard. But, but before you do that, I would really be aggressive about, you know, telling people when you're available. You know, saying like if someone absolutely has to go out at 10 a.m. on Thursday, say, you know what? I can go out on Thursday, but it has to be 2 p.m. I would do that first. I would kind of try to be more aggressive about owning your schedule and letting them know that your time is important before you commit to hiring a buyer's broker that you may or may not really need. You know, I mean, I could tell you on a personal level that uh, I usually sell about, you know, 40 to 50 properties a year. And, uh, I definitely need help 
<laughs> I mean, Nikki's Nikki's been by my side for the last four years. I got Jordan. I've had other folks that have that I've been uh, privileged to work with. And uh, I would say after you do, you know, when you start doing about four to five transactions a month and you're working with, uh, you know, seven to 10 buyers at a time, that's when you kind of want to maybe look to, to expanding yourself. But, you know, the beauty of EXP is, Andrew, bring them in, man. Bring them into this boardroom. I mean, bring them in and we'll, we'll talk about, all, we'll talk up EXP. We'll talk up the greatest opportunity in residential, residential real estate and you'll have them working under you. And then you can just share on a case by case basis, as opposed to hiring out, just recruit them in, if you will. So my angle would be with, with the beauty of the platform here and the fact that we can bring in brokers and they can sell with us and we can educate them on the opportunity and there's all the training and there's the great commission structure and the stock. I would just, I would just err to the side of just bringing them into the organization, period. And, and then you can kind of dole out things as they go. And that's, that's pretty much what, what Nikki, Jordan, and I do. You know, we kind of have a lot of business together and uh, we, we just figure it out. We kind of share in, the, uh, in a lot of the stuff and we bounce past ideas, leads, and, you know, we manage time together. And if somebody can't be somewhere, then we, we cover each other. So I guess that's my long-winded answer for you. No, thanks. No, uh, I think one of the most things I've taken from this is uh, be in charge of your time. Don't let them be in charge of your time. Yeah. Yeah, man. And that's a constant battle. You know, I didn't do it today, guys. I didn't do it today. I, I, I failed at that today. I did. I, I went to four inspections. I let my clients kind of run over me with the times. It got a little overwhelming. I had to move this appointment. And that, that's on me. So, yeah, definitely manage your time. Get in the habit of doing that. You're all human, though. You know, don't beat yourself up about this stuff. But uh, that's great intel on Op City. I appreciate that. I actually was already a seasoned broker before I got into Op City, so I didn't realize that you had to kind of qualify. So I appreciate you sharing that, Andrew. Thank you very much. All right. So um, without further ado, I think I – oh, I took a lion's share this time, man. Shut up, Eric. Uh, Nikki, Nikki Martins, for some KV Core Mastery. Nikki, All right. what, are, what are we going to be covering today? Um, so I just, since we've been talking about leads and sharing leads, I'm going to show you guys where to go to share the leads that are in your KV Core system. And then also like the importance of inputting and updating information in your leads. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to build your own ad campaign. Um, not ad campaigns, I'm sorry. Um, uh, email, text campaign um, within the KV Core system. Wow. So, um, I should have enough time. Thanks, Eric, for talking so much. It's fine. I'm used to it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Got to throw a little shade your way. Um, Wait, I did. So, hold on really quickly. I did go five minutes over. I just want to let you know that. Guys, we're going to stay till 2.05, if that's okay. Maybe 2.07. Okay, it's yours. Sorry. We might not need it because I'm quick. I'm faster than you. So, all right. I'm going to share my screen here, guys. Um, the first thing, so we were talking about sharing leads, and I'm going to show you where to go within the – system to be able to do that. So once you have a lead inputted into your KV Core, uh, you click on that lead information and scroll down on the underneath where it has the lead's name. If you scroll down at the bottom, it says uh, make contact visible. So that means it can be visible to everybody in the KV Core system. Uh, it shows you who the lead is assigned to and you can either transfer or share it. Transferring the lead gets it out of your database altogether and it just sends it to somebody else. Um, but you can share the lead. And this is something that I do a lot with, you know, between Eric and Jordan and I. Um, this way we can work the same lead at the same time. So if I don't have the time to follow up with someone in particular or Jordan's got nothing to do on Friday. And she's like, hey, Nikki, do you got anybody you need me to call? Sure, here, I'm gonna share this lead with you. So I just put in their name. Um, and when you view only is only gonna give them the contact information. If you click the view and edit and make that blue, it will allow them to then send emails, send text messages and um, up live update that lead. So Jordan, I'm just gonna send this one to you cause we're here and we're doing this. Um, and then you share that lead and then that contact is shared with that person on your team or whoever asked you 
to share that lead. And that allows you to keep track of what leads you've shared um, and what leads you hold on to for yourself. Um, so that's, I just want to touch on that really quick. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but if anybody has any questions, as always, just let me know. Um, the other thing that I wanted to um, go into is making sure that you have as much information as you can in your um, leads information section. I'm just going to filter this to my sphere because that's where you really want to make sure you have as much information as possible because KV Core has so many automated systems set up where you can send birthday announcements, you can send uh, closing um, congratulation emails or um, holiday, like EXP holiday cards and things like that. So if you have all of the information updated in there already, it makes it so much easier to let KV Core work for you without having to do all the work yourself. So I'm just going to click on this guy. He's one of my friends. He lives in the neighborhood. Um, I send him uh, market reports on occasion. I send him, you know, CMAs on his house um, because he's going to retire one day. Eventually he's going to want to move out of Chicago and not live here anymore. So it's important to fill in this profile detail section. And when you start filling this stuff in home preferences, valuation, their address, and you fill in all of this information, it will automatically set up the valuation for that home and give you the option of, hey, do you want to send this homeowner this valuation, which is huge, um, because that keeps them in your sphere as somebody that you may want to reach out to in the future as a potential seller, right? Awesome feature. Awesome feature. Now, let me pull up somebody who's already got that in there. Gotta change my filter setting here, sorry. She's, she was my sphere. She just moved into a uh, buyer status, which is exciting. Her and her husband are looking for a new house. Uh, she's my best friend since high school. Um, so I have her status changed here, but I have the address of the house that they are looking to sell. Oh, I don't. I lied. Never mind. I sent her a CMA and I forgot to put it in. But what I'm just saying is that if you put all the information in, it will set up a home valuation for them. I have one more else. Hold on. I want to show you this. So give me one second. All right, here we go. This is my aunt. All right, my aunt lives in Rolling Meadows. She's looking to sell um, eventually because her kids are all grown now. Um, so I just put in their address, primary address over here, and it dumped the valuation into this spot here. Once you put in that information and you have the option to put in their, their occupation, their birthdays, their any spouse information, Facebook, social media, and that just helps you reconnect with those people and like, oh, you know, I may not have their email or I just have their cell phone number. Let's let's reach out to them again and get, get some more information so that we can make sure that we're sending them all the information that they're looking for. And then on their main profile page on this side over here, it has the listing valuation already sent set up. So all you have to do is click the send now button and it'll send them an email with just a quick valuation from for the address that you inputted as their home address. So just, you know, I just wanted to touch on that quickly because the more information that you have put into your contact or your lead, the more things uh, you can have KV Core do for you. When you set up scheduled mass emails or birth, set up automated emails for birthdays or purchase anniversaries, those are all things you can do if you have that information put into the system already. So it really just benefits you to get as much information as possible, especially for your sphere and those are the people that you know that you love that care about you and you can reach out to them and be like, oh, hey, Aunt Cheryl, can you just remind me what your birthday is? And, you know, I want to make sure I send you something or whatever. Throw it in your system and send out an email. And that's just another touch to that sphere of, hey, don't forget me. I'm a realtor. Come and use me next time you're looking to buy or sell a house. Um, does anybody have any questions on that? That was just pretty, just informational, mostly. I have a statement. 
Go for it. This is awesome. Well, absolutely. That's this whole it. system's awesome um, because it really does a lot of the work for you um, if the information is put in correctly to the system because all of it is super automated. Um, and the automations are great because it, it follows up for you. Like you didn't even think that, you didn't even remember that today was great Aunt Marcy's 97th birthday, but the system did and it sent her a birthday email. It's like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> hey, great Aunt Marcy, nice to see you. Um, the second thing I'm gonna touch on today, um, and since we've been talking about OpCity, is how to build your own smart campaign. Uh, it seems really overwhelming. And when I initially went through the training to building these campaigns, I was super overwhelmed and was like, oh, this seems like too much. I'm just gonna use the ones that are already in the system, which is fine because they're pretty general. They generally relate to everything that you need to talk to a potential buyer or seller about. However, there's certain ones that don't really correlate with the message that I'm trying to send. Or if I've already talked to a client because I was live connected with them through HopCity, there isn't really a campaign built in for a hot lead like that that comes in. So this can be found in the marketing section of your KV Core dashboard under the smart campaigns. And this is why I showed in a, in a past session, you know, your KV Core library is where all the ones that are already built in. My campaigns is the ones that you, you know, switch over to your KV Core library or your from the KV Core library to your campaigns. But say that you're looking at all of these and none of them really fit your needs, so to speak. You can build your own. You can do that by clicking on this add campaign button. And then you decide when to start that campaign. So I'm going to build this um, as an op city campaign because um, that's something that I found that I needed. I have all these op city leads that I've already connected with. I've already spoken with. I know what they're looking for. I don't need to send them the buyer first email that says, hey, thanks for checking out our website. Uh, let me know what you're looking for. No, I already know what you're looking for. So. I'm going to start this campaign when there's a hashtag added because I generally put in my op city leads as a new lead and then hashtag them op city. So I already have that hash hashtag built in and then I'm going to move on to what it's designed for. Generally you're working with buyers, but potentially you could be working with sellers as well. So I'll click on both for that. And then it gets you here to campaign details. This can be very general. I'm gonna name this campaign Up City Leads. And you can put a description here if you want to um, or leave it open. You have the option to always run it. What that means is that as soon as you put that hashtag in to that, client, to that lead, it's gonna automatically start running the campaign for you. You don't have to do anything other than hashtag that, that lead. Locked allows it to be accessed by anybody else using the KV course system. That's up to you if you want to just share it with everybody. Um, I know there's a lot of people that use AppCity. I don't mind sharing this information, so I'm going to leave it um, unlocked and move on from there. So you have these. Um, this is my review of the campaign. So this is scope for me. It runs for agents. And it starts when the hashtag op city is added to any lead. It's designed for buyers and sellers. This is the name. You can add a description if you want, but I feel like op city leads is, is pretty self-explanatory. So you could click finish and you get kicked to your my campaigns. And then you find it underneath whatever you named it, op city leads, right? This is where you edit it. So you go to this lead and you have no actions here. So there's, if I added this to a client right now, they'd get nothing from it. I would just have them on the Op City Leads campaign and it wouldn't send them anything. The way you start building that campaign is you click on this add action button here and it gives you an option if you want it to be an email, a text, a task, a call, um, some sort of status. So if there, the, this option here for status is um, if a lead changes from a new lead or prospect to an active lead, it automatically will start this campaign. I'm just going to do an email for 
you know, easiness sake. Um, and if somebody has anything in the chat, Eric, let me know because I can't see those comments while I'm screen sharing. You got it, Nikki. Uh, so I'm going to do OpCity first email as this. And this only allows you to pull from templates up here. But once you pick a template and further steps, you're able to change that um, across the board. So I'm just going to go to one that's already built in by our first email. It allows you to view the template. Hey, thanks for checking URL, blah, blah, blah. You know what? No, I don't really like that one. What was the one that I liked? Um... Okay, um, so I'm going to use this one. I just wanted to touch base with you, see what your plans are moving forward. I have some time to discuss our next steps. I feel like this is pretty relative to somebody that I just talked to, but then I can edit it in the future. The next step is to decide who this message is for. So if you, if this were a call task, you would be, it would be from the system to the agent, but because this is from me to the new lead, I'm gonna have it as agent to contact. If you turn on run immediately, anybody that already has that hashtag built in, I'm sorry, I misspeak. Run immediately means build it before I put anything else into this system. So until you're done building the campaign, I wouldn't click the run immediately. Um, you select the time, so within one day of talking to this client, I want the system to send out this email that says, hey, I want to check uh, with you and see what the plans are moving forward. And I'm going to add that in. Once you add it, day one, OpCity, sent, uh, the system sends an email from me to the contact. I could preview it or I can edit it. There's some things that I want to change in it. So I can change that stuff here. Um, and then you just continue to build as you go with each one of those actions along the way. Um, adding a text, adding a call, you know, you want to have at least seven to 10 touches um, just so that you're kind of staying on top of mind with those leads. And then if once you're finished, you make the campaign active. So if you added that hashtag or that lead is from a new lead to an active lead, it will automatically add that campaign to those leads. Um, if you built this whole campaign up, you spent a bunch of time, you love it, it's not perfect for another lead per se or another lead source, you can clone the campaign and then change things in it to uh, modify to what you need it to be without having to rebuild the entire thing. And then you can also edit your campaign settings here from when you want it to run, how you want it to work, and things like that. Uh, and if you hate it, you remove it, and that's it. It won't run until you make the campaign active. So once you go back, you've built it, you put it together, you go back to where it says, you know, my campaigns. Once you want to turn it on, you go over to this little toggle switch over here and, and turn on that that campaign and it will start sending those emails out automatically. Um, that's all I have. Um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Let me see. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Um, um, I don't know if you mentioned, mentioned if you guys were recording this or um, I think because I'm not are. at my computer. Sorry. So I just wanted no, to make sure okay. I didn't miss anything. I think we are. There was also um, through the KV Core, if you go to the uh, learning portal or the support center, there is just a quick run through. Um, there's a fact sheet or a video you can watch to do that. But I, I think we're recording. Uh, Eric, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We are absolutely recording. Uh, our boy uh, Rick and Matt are taking care of the recordings, and uh, we will have those for you. We're gonna we're gonna figure out how to brand them and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll, we'll have those for you. All of our, our last three sessions have been recorded, I believe, including this one. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Sir. Yeah. So, and, and it's really one of those things that once you get into, I don't know why we're so zoomed in on your teeth there, Eric. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Are the they white? It's like totally zoomed in on you. Um, Oof. But Oof. <laughs> Can you back um, up? A but the, yeah. uh, 
once you just start kind of clicking around, and this is what I encourage you all to do with the KB Core system in general, is just start of monkey around with it. You're not going to mess anything up. You're not going to break anything. Everything can be undone or removed, but just start start fussing around and see um, what you can kind of figure out on your own. Obviously, I'm here. Eric's here. We're available to help you if you need it. Um, but the the Learning Portal and Support Center for KB Core is also awesome because they do a much more in-depth breakdown of all of the steps um, if you wanted to kind of slow it down and go through step by step. Um, but setting up these campaigns is so awesome because literally it's like set it and forget it. You, you turn the campaign on and it does everything from send the emails, send the text messages to reminding you to call, to reminding you to set up search alerts, just kind of being, you know, that computer admin for you, which I think is great. Um, but I'm, I'm, that's all I've got for today. If anybody has any questions, Eric, I'll open it up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah I mean, guys, look at, uh, KB core is like gold and you guys with a shovel, just keep digging in, keep digging into KB core. Like Nikki said, you cannot break it. Just find, find out about all the bells and whistles. Make sure you know how everything works, the campaigns, all the, all the lead generation options, the website. Um, you know, checking out your clients when they look at properties, following up with them, the Dash CMA, uh, all that stuff. Become experts in KV Core. It is absolute gold. There's not another system like it. So that's why we spent a lion's share of these trainings talking about the KV Core Mastery. And Nikki's living proof, guys. Nikki is going to quintuple her sales this year. And I think it's largely because of EXP. It's because of our, you know, us motivating each other. But KV Core has been a huge huge tool and assist to her getting to these levels. So I Definitely. certainly would encourage everybody. And then Eric, you know, I, um, really. I just wanted to touch on that Dash CMA. We talked about that on Tuesday, um, but I sent you one over. Um, were you able to open that up and look at it? I wasn't. I'm sorry. Womp womp. Never mind. We'll talk about it next week. <laughs> next week, Dash CMAs. We'll have a segment on it. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for coming. Uh, a lot of you showed up. I changed the time. It's not going to happen again. I appreciate all of you guys. All, a lot of you are regulars coming to these meetings, and it's awesome. You're, this is great collaboration. You're going to see it. It's, things are going to start to move. These are needle-moving meetings. Get back to these basics. Sphere of influence. Engage them. Get these third-party referral sites up and running. Get leads from brokers that have mountains of leads. Use the KV Core system. Keep showing up. Get yourself on video. Get comfortable getting yourself on video. It will give you 40 times the results every time I go to video. I'm telling you, I get a, my phone rings off the hook and I get real time leads, real time listings, real time buyers. So make that happen. I also strongly encourage you guys follow Bonnie and Judd Fox. Their social networking platform is off the charts. They have the absolute perfect touch on it. Watch their Instagram stories. That's what people want. People want to see you, the real people. You guys are all awesome. Appreciate you. Have a phenomenal weekend crushing it. If you got, I will, I will definitely um, load something up so you guys can recap the meeting. We're going to have these recorded as well for you. Nikki, thank you so much for your continued KV Core mastery instruction. Um, Moss, thanks for setting us up. Rick, thanks for recording. Matt, thank you for everything you do. And uh, appreciate all you guys. Let's make it a huge week. Let's keep coming. Guys, we're going to have Facebook leads coming soon. So we encourage you to come to all these meetings. And we encourage you to grab other people to get them here. Bring recruits here if you want. There's nothing like this. This is real time.